Hi yogis, I'm Pogi the Yogi. I'm so excited you're here. Ooh, look at this. Hey there. <laughs> look at these little things. Oh, it's got some glasses. Oh, and glasses and eyelashes. And this kind of looks like frozen custard. You know what, yogis? That reminds me. I've actually been invited to visit Culver's and see how they make frozen custard and all that yummy food and get to meet some of the team. You want to come with me? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I definitely enjoy frozen custard. And I wonder how they actually make it. That's going to be interesting to see. And I always like going on these adventures because I feel like I meet so many just nice people and I really appreciate getting to learn about their day and what they do and all the fun ways that they work together. So, let's go. <laughs> Hi yogis, I'm Pokey the Yogi and I am so excited to be here. Today I'm at Culver's in Crystal Lake. Hey, look at that. Oh, all right, <laughs> let's go. Hey! Hi! Well, hi, Pogi. Hey. Welcome to Culver's of Crystal Lake. Thank you so much. This is so wonderful in here. So well, many thank you. great things to see. And oh, it smells delicious. Well, that's because we're busy making uh, Culver's delicious butter burgers, french fries, onion rings, cheese curds, <laughs> uh, as well as our uh, delicious frozen custard. That's why it smells so good in here. Wow, it's so nice to have so many options. It must take a, a lot of people to make all that happen. It does. It takes a lot of teamwork. Oh, hi, Sue. How are you today? Hi, hi Sue. Yeah, people like Sue, and you know we have dozens of people coming here every day uh, to have a nice meal, uh, celebrate a special event. So it takes a lot of teamwork to make sure that we get everything just, just so. Sounds like a big part of what you do is really bringing people together. Yes. Yes, my, the most important job I have is taking care of my team and making sure that they have everything they need so that they can take care of our guests and make sure that you know we live up to our mission statement, which is every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. So <laughs> it's a little bit more than just coming in here because you're hungry. We want to just provide a really fun experience for everybody that comes in. Wow, Jim, it looks like there's a lot going on back there. There is. There is. We're getting ready for a big day today. So if you want, I'll take you through and show you what we're doing. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Thanks, Jim. First, maybe you can say hi to Laura. Laura's, hi, Laura. Say hi, hi. to Pogi. Hi. Laura's making our delicious frozen custard. We're Ooh. starting today. We make it fresh all during the day, so it's nice and smooth and creamy. And uh, our custard is always less than two hours old. Wow, that's fantastic. What a great dessert. <laughs> So Jim, what exactly is frozen custard? Well, good question, Pogi. Frozen custard is a little different than ice cream. Frozen custard is premium ice cream, Yum. but it's made fresh all day, and it's got a smoother, creamier texture. Would you like to try it? Oh, sure, thank you. <laughs> See what you think there, Pogi. Do you like it? That is really tasty. I thought you'd like it. Mm. It's impossible to eat a bite of frozen custard without smiling. <laughs> I think that's true. And that is, it's really, um, I noticed it, it's definitely cold like ice cream, but like you said, it's smooth and rich, but um, it tastes sweet, but it, it's just, it just tastes really nice. Right, right. It's not as hard frozen as the type of ice cream that you would buy in your grocer's freezer. Mm. So you make it fresh all day, so that's part of what gives it its velvety smooth texture. So, Pogi, now that we've seen the frozen custard, would you like to see the rest of the kitchen and how we make the rest of our food? That'd be fantastic. Thanks, okay. Jim. Well, first I'm going to put on my apron here. Oh, and I've nice. got to wash my hands before I go into the kitchen. Oh, first thing you've always got to do is you've got to wash your hands to keep the germs and bacteria protecting everybody that's eating food here. Yeah. Well, come on, Pogi. Let's head into the kitchen. I'll show you around, All okay? Right. Thanks, Jim. Hi, Rosa. How are you today? Hi. Rosa, this is Pogi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rosie's get, Rosa is getting ready to set up our grill and our our, our cart to uh, cook our famous butter burgers. So this is where all the magic is created. And what Rosa's doing is she's pressing the burger against the grill 
to sear the meat, and that's what gives it its terrific flavor. Mm. A burger only cooks for under two minutes, cooks very quickly. When the edges look cooked, Rosa's gonna turn them over, and you see she's got a beautiful sear. That's what gives it delicious flavor. And then she's gonna just very lightly put a little bit of seasoning on them. And when we're really busy, we're just lining them up and they're coming down here as fast as we can make them. So I'm gonna just show you, Pogi, how to make a Culver's Deluxe. Okay. That's our signature burger. That's what we're famous for. So we put some mayonnaise on there. We go right around, it's easy to remember. Then we put a couple pickles, a couple onion rings here, the raw onions some lettuce, a tomato slice, and then this is a double burger. Culver's Deluxe is a double. We take two slices of cheese, and we star them like that. And the person then working on the grill will now know that we have a double butter burger just by looking at that. Wow. Because that tells them that it's a double, not a single. And uh, so that's how we make a delicious butter burger. So the grill person will then put the, the burgers onto it, put the bun top, and the person that's here in the middle will then ma make sure it looks correct according to the tickets that they have, and then they will wrap it. If it's a, if it's a dining order, they'll put it in a boat on a tray. They'll put the burger right here on the tray. If the guest is in the drive-thru or is taking their order to go, then we'll wrap it with a wrap or in a nice Culver's box. Oh. And uh, they get it in a bag in a, in a Culver's box and it keeps it nice and hot till they, till they get home. Oh, that's nice. It's so interesting to hear about all the different ingredient options that people can you know, have lots of choices here and then really cool to see the, the signals and the way that you can communicate with your team members. Right, we call them, we actually call them silent signals. Even though we like each other, we like to talk to each other. When we're working, we do a lot of things on silent signals. So, for example, I already told you that that signifies that that's a, a double. For example, if somebody wanted grilled onions on their burger and we're really busy, we don't always have time to talk to each other, we will just signify with a small piece of onion right on the top of the burger. That tells the grill person that that burger is going to get grilled onions on it. So you see how we use all kinds of silent signals to communicate with each other so that we can work together as a team. So starting from here on the, the bun station or the sandwich dressing station to the grill person that's grilling the burgers and then to the person that's going to assemble the entire order to make sure that everything's correct, we're all working together as a team. Wow, that sounds like you're, you have a lot of consideration for everyone working together and finding ways to communicate, especially when when they're busy and trying to do a lot. Yes. It must take a lot of training. It does, it takes a lot of training. We make sure that we say please and thank you to each other. So we always are communicating, working together as a team. So when you do something for me, it's thank you, Pogi. <laughs> and I say, Pogi, can you please do this for me? Thank you. So please and thank you is very important when we're working together as a team. It's really fun to be part of a well-oiled machine where everybody's working together and again, putting smiles on people's faces. That's so nice, but you almost see a lot of very happy people. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And, and most people really love Culver's and we want to make sure that we do everything that we can when they come into Culver's, where we deliver that experience that they expect from us. Wow. Thanks for doing that, Jim. That sounds like really great work. It's, it's really a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun and very satisfying. Jim, I noticed when you're scooping the fries, you're using that little, what do you call that thing? Well, this nifty tool is called a French fry scoop. <laughs> and basically it helps you get the right amount of uh, French fries right into the Culver's fry bag. So I take the fries and get them all to line up here and fall into the bag. And I put it back here and that's a perfectly scooped order wow. order of fries. That's pretty cool. Hey, Pokey, now that we've been talking about all this food, I bet you're hungry. Would you like to join me for a meal? Uh, absolutely. Thanks, well, let's Jim. Go. Come on. <laughs> wow, that 
looks great. Thank you, Jim. Have a seat. Enjoy. Okay. You probably don't know where to start, do you? <laughs> so many good <laughs> options. I think I'll try one of these fries. Thank you. I might try an onion ring if you don't mind. Mm. Oh, these are delicious. I'm excited to try all of this. Um, Jim, how did you get started doing all this? Well, I just love Culver's and I loved Culver's and I decided I really wanted to work here at Culver's and even further to own a Culver's. It's just something that I like to do is putting smiles on people's faces. So I was, I was made to do this and food brings us all together. So it's just a natural for me to be with Culver's. Wow, that's perfect, Jim. And, and thank you for showing me everything around here and, and meeting some of the team. It just, it seems like, you know, you've got all the different team members and all these different processes and, and everything happening. That's just a lot of responsibility. It is, but uh, it's a lot of fun at the same time. It's, it's worth it. Hard work is hard work, but hard work can also be a lot of fun and I get a lot of satisfaction out of working together as a team. Much more satisfying than just doing something by myself. Being with you here today makes me think about when I was just this tall and my father teaching me about cooperation and what the word cooperation meant. And that's always really stuck with me how important it is in life that we work really well with each other. And um, the other thing that my dad taught me that I've always brought with me into Culver's is it's okay to make mistakes. And you are gonna make mistakes, that's part of life. You're gonna make a mistake, you're gonna fail, you're gonna learn from it, and then you're gonna try again. And you're gonna keep trying until you get it right. And I think those are very important lessons that we should all really concentrate on and learn. Pogi, thank you so much for being here today and asking me about what I'm so passionate about and letting me show you what I do every day to put a smile on people's faces. It really means a lot to me. So thank you for being here. You're welcome, Jim. Thanks for saying thank you and thank you for having me. You know, it's been fun and inspiring to just hear your story and, and hear about what you're doing to, to meet some more of the team. I'd be happy if you want to share a little bit about what I like doing with yoga and movement and exercise. Sure, I'd love to see it. All right. <laughs> Jim, who's that? Oh, that well, well, that's Curtis. Curtis is one of our mascots. As you know, at Culver's, we're famous for our cheese curds. And Curtis is a curd nerd. And uh, he's a special mascot. What do you think, Curtis wants to try a little yoga? Oh, absolutely. I think Curtis would, would love to do some yoga. All right, Curtis, so let's reach up high. Whoa, there you go. And let's fold down toward our toes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Up high. Woo! <laughs> Good job, Curtis. <laughs> Way to go, Curtis. Okay, back to, back to your job. You have work to do today, Curtis. <laughs> you all want to try some yoga? Yes. Sure. Good. All right. So let's just stand nice and straight. Let's reach up high toward the sky. And reach down toward your toes. Doesn't matter how far you go. Just down a little bit's great. Let's go back up high toward the sky. And hands together and shake it out. All right, we'll do star pose next. So inspired by Curtis up there, take your legs out wide, reach up high and spread your fingers, spread your arms and back down. You know, seeing everything here today kind of inspired me to make up a pose. You all want to try French fry pose? Sure. Sounds great to me. All right, so let's go up high, hands together. Oop, and to one side. Oh, and the other side. Back to the middle, french fry pose. <laughs> Yay, I like that. <laughs> Thank you so much for trying something I really care about. And I really appreciate you all showing me around today and taking time and just being so generous and, and doing what you do to bring people together. It's been a lot of fun. Well, we really appreciate having you here, Pogi. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Jim. I'll see you all next time. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Pogi. Have a nice day. Yogis, that was so interesting and exciting to me with Jim and, and the whole crew there. Boy, what a welcoming place and so many fun things to learn. I'm excited to take all that inspiration back to the net. Let's go. Wow, Yogis, that was so much fun. 
Wow, I got to see so many interesting things and I really appreciate Jim taking time to show me around. And that was really special to see my name on the sign. Thanks for coming with me. I am definitely inspired by all that fun and tasty food and really, really nice folks to, to make some yoga moves and do a little bit of movement. So if you're watching along and you want to do the yoga part, that's great. You can go ahead and stand up and join me. And if you've got a yoga mat, that's great. If you don't, you can use a blanket or just use your imagination and say, you know what? This spot on the ground is where I'm going to do some yoga today. Let's get started. Stand up. Let your breath all the way out. Big breath in and shake it out. Let's do that again. Big breath in and shake it out. I like starting that way because it's a little silly. It usually makes me laugh a little bit and just lets me loosen up and you know be ready to do some more movement after that. Now let your breath all the way out. Breathe in, reach up as high as you can and really stretch your body, reaching up, spreading your fingers and breathe out, reach down toward your toes. Now breathe in, put your hands on your shins right here, then look forward and breathe out, back down toward your toes. Now slowly breathe in, rising up all the way toward the sky and breathe out, hands together release. One of my favorite parts of getting to tour Culver's and meeting with Jim and everyone was getting to actually try the frozen custard. That was so tasty and made me think that custard is is, is kind of cold and, and it's frozen so when I feel cold I just want to get really really small and get down low so follow along get down on the squat with your knees bent get nice and cold and then let your breath out and the custard was kind of wavy, so breathe in, arms up. And breathe out, wave one way. Breathe in, back to middle. Breathe out the other way. Let's do that again each side. Breathe in, and out. In, and out. And release down. So when you're doing that, when you're bending to one way, you're gonna feel that stretch in this side. And what I like to do is put all my weight in this side, and then bend this way. Uh, and then do the same thing on the other side. It's called a side bend. It's a good way to really stretch and loosen up a little bit. Boy, whenever Jim was showing me how they cook all the, the food on that griddle, it was really hot. I mean, I could stand there and I was feeling the heat and uh, it made me think like, ooh, that would be just really hot to touch. So I kind of want to work with an opposite. So we did the cold frozen custard. Now we're gonna pretend this is a frozen griddle, kind of like the floor is lava. And so, ah, it's hot, 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 hot. Move your feet, move your feet. Ah, hot, 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 <laughs> Woo, and relax. Thankfully, this is not really that hot at all. So it's nice to pretend and use our imagination to come up with funny and silly ways to move. Speaking of that, I liked it when they used the mustard and ketchup. So we're gonna pretend that we're going to squirt on some mustard. So big breath in, squat down, and mustard. <laughs> Let's do the other, same thing, other side, but this time ketchup. Squat down, big breath in, and ketchup. Whoop! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of silly. So, I really appreciated Jim sitting down with me to eat and talk about how he got started and, and why he does what he does. That was really special. And we'll come down to a tabletop, just like how Jim and I sat around the table and ate some food. So spread your fingers, put your hands down on the ground, Shoulders over your wrists and then your hips over your knees. This is called tabletop. Let your breath out. <sighs> breathe in, look up high toward the sky. And breathe out, arch your back, bring your belly button toward your spine. <sighs> breathe in, looking up high toward the sky. And arch your back, bring your belly button toward your spine. Come back to tabletop. Big breath in and let it out. All right, now we have our table, and what's next to a table is usually a chair. So we'll do chair pose. This is where you stand up, feet uh, pretty much close together, and then you just pretend like you're sitting down in a chair. Arms up, chair pose. And the best part about sitting down, grab some of that food and take a bite. <laughs> grab some of the other food and take a bite. 
<laughs> Whew, let your breath out, shake it out a little bit. We're gonna try a little balance work next. So stand nice and tall and bring one foot up above your other ankle. And now this is a great spot to work on balance. You don't have to do anything else, but you can also bring that foot up to your calf, all the way up to your thigh. Oh, oh, oh. It's good to warm up before you do balance work. And it's also okay if you fall out of it. Just stay safe and you can always try again and you can always ask for help. Sometimes it's good just to hold somebody else's hand or hold onto a wall or something like that just to work up to it. I'm gonna try again, but this time I'm gonna try the other side. So I'll bring that foot up, heel above the ankle, stand nice and tall. And from here, I'm gonna come up to my calf and all the way up to my thigh. And I'm gonna grow nice and tall and reach up as high as he can. This is called tree pose, also called pokey style. <laughs> whenever you're bouncing like that, it's nice whenever you can grow nice and tall because it actually helps you balance better. And it reminded me of some of the things that Jim was saying where a lot of the folks that they work with, they, you know, they have to have a growth mindset where they have to kind of you know, push themselves a little bit and try new things. And that's okay to not be good at something when you try something new. That's how we all learn. It's part of what makes us human and it is wonderful. Now, let's have a seat together. <laughs> I really liked when Jim was showing me Curtis the Curd, and this is Goldie the Curd, and Scoopy the Frosty. It's fun to have little characters like that. Oh, everyone okay? All right. <laughs> have a seat. Cross-legged seat. Let your breath out. <sighs> breathe in, arms up. As you breathe out, reach forward. Say hi to the little friends in front. Hi, Curtis. Hi, Goldie. Hi, Scoopy. And walk your hands one way. Walk your hands the other way. And back to the middle. Let your breath out. Breathe in, arms up. Exhale, hands together. Breathe in, arms up. This time, take this hand behind you, this hand to the opposite knee, gentle twist. Let your breath out. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out other way. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, hands together. Steady breath in. As you breathe out, press your palms together. Big breath in. Breathe out, press your palms together. Close your eyes. One more big breath in. Breathe out, pressing your palms together. Open your eyes and release your hands down. Yogis, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And thank you to Jim and his whole crew for showing me around. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I want you to know that you are wonderful as you are right now. My name is Pogi the Yogi, and I'll see you next time. Bye.